In this water drop, we'll be looking at how to transfer information from your InfoWater Pro model to Civil 3D uh, to assist in numerous different workflows you might have going in between the two software, specifically kind of pre-design work. All right, so who is this water drop for? Uh, it's for utilities looking to empower maybe developers uh, with as-built background information, right? We hear from utilities that you know, they might be maintaining a particular model, uh, but they might have development that's happening, you know, new neighborhoods, uh, new commercial development, and they might need to export out some information from their hydraulic model to those developers who might be doing that design work. So uh, it's a great workflow for that. Uh, it's for folks that are interested in Civil 3D. Uh, it's for uh, folks that are doing that design work, working with uh, maybe pressure pipe networks within Civil 3D. You want to see how InfoWater Pro could be related to that, kind of bringing in that as-built information from InfoWater Pro. Uh, and again, for modelers helping to do kind of this pre-design work. This is a workflow. Uh, it's relatively new. Uh, to the Innovise portion of Autodesk, but the idea is how can you use that modeling information, not just from a planning level, but with some uh, kind of design work in mind as well. So the workflow we're going to be going through today, I'm going to uh, already have an InfoWater Pro analysis run. I'm going to join all layer tables uh, with the desired results I want to export out to ArcGIS Online and then get into Civil 3D. We're going to look at the import data uh, we're going to look at the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS to import the data and then maybe tie it to just a particular area we might be interested in in Civil 3D. We're going to look at labels real quickly, how we could do those once we bring in this information as alignments, how we could label this information to be useful. And then we can look at how to convert this information quickly to a pressure pipe network so you can get your quantities as well. All right, so the place we'll be getting in is within InfoWater Pro. Here's InfoWater Pro. We're working with GIS data. We're working in ArcGIS Pro. And the first thing we're going to do here is make sure we have run an analysis. So you're going to run an analysis, come out to yellow light, green light, be stable enough for you to get results out of here and output, and then to join this output information to uh, what we'll want to export, we are going to come to our command center and we're going to go to database, join all layer tables to join those results to our actual GIS data. We're going to run that and then we are going to come over to our data sources here, come to our InfoWater Pro uh, database, map.gdb. And here now when we open up one of our elements, say pipes for example, and I go to attribute table, I am now going to be able to see the results from that actual run as well as the attribute information all linked and joined to that GIS here. So here I've got the, the head, uh, the flow, direction, all of these results again are now joined actual to my GIS. So the next step will be to export out this information, share it out, export it out to uh, ArcGIS Online, share that as a web layer. Uh, export it out to a shapefile or something and then export it, upload it up to ArcGIS Online or your portal. Uh, but is basically, it's just going to be an export from uh, InfoWater Pro and this join here to where you want that either on portal or within ArcGIS Online. With that done, with the data now in ArcGIS Online, we're going to switch over to Civil 3D. All right, so if the data is now in Portal, if it's in uh, your ArcGIS Online account, you can go directly to Civil 3D, and here I'm showing kind of what the, the end result might look like. We can go ahead and open up a new drawing here, and I'll do this from scratch with, it, with a new drawing. All right, so with my new drawing here, I am going to come over to the Insert, and I'm gonna select this Autodesk connector for ArcGIS, and what's neat about this connector is, is, again, it can log in. You can log in directly to your ArcGIS Online or Portal site with this connector. And what's cool, you'll see here, is that it's simply going to give you kind of a GIS map here. And so I know my GIS information that I want to bring into the Civil 3D drawing is somewhere down here. So this is where uh, this workflow might be especially handy if, you know, you don't need all of the hydraulic modeling information for all of Denver, let's say, but if you only need a part of it that you want to work on, you can just bring in that particular part. So you can search by location, 
find that particular area you're interested in and bring some of that information in. So actually here is the area I'm most interested in and I am going to draw a rectangle around it. And this is going to ensure I only bring in data from that particular area into my civil 3D drawing. So I'm going to search for my purple town oh, model in ArcGIS Online in my account. There it is. I'm going to select it. I've got my different features that I exported out there. Uh, I'm going to take my different point features and I'm going to make those structures. I'm going to make my pipes. I'm going to bring those in as alignments. Everything else, just a point feature, I'll bring it in as a structure. Really, we're most concerned about the pipes in this particular case, and I'm going to add it to my design project here. So, oh, I must set a coordinate system first. That's a good point. It's going to bring that up for me, and I'm going to say this is in the U.S. in Colorado. And not in meters, so I want to make sure this is at least in feet, otherwise I'm not going to be too picky about this. And say OK. And now it should import in that, just that section of that JS information here. So you've got, you've got some things here we can do a bit of the mapping. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just simply going to say OK and apply here. But again, if you have some schema mapping that you need to do for some of the default fields, you can do that. Uh, but you'll see here, even if I didn't do any mapping there in particular, we're still going to get that property information. Uh, it might be most critical in terms of linking that modeling information into Civil 3D here. All right, so it's importing this information. We'll give it a second here. And we can see it has now imported that information. And again, what's neat is I'm just bringing in that particular slice of the model that I might be most interested in, right? If I'm doing a new development here, kind of in the middle of this uh, block, if you will. I'm just bringing in that part of my hydraulic model, as opposed to uh, previously when I did this, I imported the entire network itself. So we can just bring in a part of that model here and then begin to work with it appropriately. So the first thing we might want to do with our new import from Infowater Pro is add some labels. So we can start to create these as pressure pipe networks accurately. So I'm going to go ahead and say right click edit labels here you can go ahead and add some major station labels they don't need to be at all the so many increments though so I'm going to go ahead and say 300 feet there and start to edit this label so again we brought in many of those features right from our model in Infowater Pro so I want to label my pipe with some of those features here so if I come to the layout and click on the contents here here is where I can get to the property sets and start to add some of the information from InfoWater Pro to the labels within Civil 3D. So if I come over here and I say, uh, you know, let's delete whatever might be the default label in there, and I say I want to look at diameter and the precision just to one, I can go ahead and add diameter as a label, maybe add inches to that, a unit. Maybe I also want to add something like the min or max or average velocity there. I add that. A uh, little more precise. Add that to the label. Uh, and then again, I can have a unit on that, gallons per minute, something like that. Uh, say OK. And now I have that label added. Apply. OK. OK. If I could save that label set or import from a previous label set, if I already have one for this particular drawing template, Say OK, and now I've got that label uh, that I can easily add uh, to other alignments and other pipes within this particular drawing. Uh, once I have that label, you know, the nice thing to do might be, again, there's a lot of editing that could go into that label, uh, but I might come up to Home, Pipe Network, uh, Pressure Network Creation Tools, or Create Pressure Network from an Object, and I could click on that pipe and start to create a pressure network from it, right? So uh, now I might have a parts list in here specifically for water, for water infrastructure projects I'm creating. I could now link my InfoWater Pro information and actually convert it to a pressure network, a pipe run here, and actually give it the right parts list, right? Or right pipe, pipe size that really fits in terms of how 
I'm going to construct and tie into this model here. So again, pressure pipe networks, a lot more information on these within Civil 3D videos, uh, other Civil 3D videos, but this is a way to quickly kind of take that InfoWater Pro information, uh, make it into a pressure network now, go to pipe run, and format that within Civil 3D here. All right, so obviously there's much more to this workflow. There's many more details and little features we could get into here, especially in regards to Civil 3D. But hopefully the real benefits of this is hopefully adding exposure to different folks within an organization or even outside your organization in terms of the importance of that hydraulic model, uh, how it can be kind of this as-built planning level model that, that can be used for maybe new construction, that pre-designed work in a particular area that you want to tie in that new infrastructure to. Uh, I can really help with some of that pre-design and sizing uh, new infrastructure appropriately and tying it into your model.